Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby and Sun. Say hi, Connor. Hi. Coming back to you guys with a brand new baseball break today. Uh, right off the bat, let me apologize if the video quality isn't perfect or the lighting and stuff like that. We're still doing a little bit of kind of renovations around the house, normal filming spots, so uh, kind of using a little alternate uh, spot right now. But I hopefully this will work out. Today we are going to do essentially two total boxes. We're going to break one here on camera. But uh, we got 2023 Topps Museum Collection. We are going to do a sealed box right here on camera momentarily. Uh, I opened one box with my son Connor here off camera. And we did pretty good, right Connor? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys what we got in that box as far as hits go. And we also did uh, a box of 2023, it was a hobby box, 2023 Topps Chrome Update. We tried one chance at trying to get the... Uh, the ultra hard to find MLB debut patch cards, the 101s and stuff, and we of course had no luck. But I'll show you guys what I got in that box real quick here too as well. And I'm sorry for the glare in advance. I'll try to keep the glare down as best I can, but it's a little bit tough with the shiny cards. So we got Josh Young, rookie refractor. Uh, we did get a negative Thaddeus Ward, rookie negative refractor. There we got a numbered purple uh, Drax and Profar. I'll show you guys the back of that really quickly. That was out of 250, as you guys can see right there. And last but not least, the one auto for the box, uh, Jose Butto or Buto? Honestly, I'm not sure how you pronounce that one. I should know that one because I like uh, Pete. I follow my boy Pete Alonzo on that team and uh, I'm not too, too familiar here. But uh, anyway, on card auto and uh, a refractor out of 499. So that is what I got from that box. Now let's talk about the museum collection here. So it's going to be a quick rip, but uh, the first box is going to be really tough to outdo. I, I think it's going to be really hard to beat what we got in the first box. We did not get the case hit. Maybe we have the case hit in here today. That'd be pretty cool. The case hits the gold frame card. We'll talk about that momentarily. Let's show you guys what I got in the first box as far as our hits go. We got some really, really good stuff. It's Like I said, it's going to be hard to outdo what we got in the first box off camera. So we start with a our numbered cards here first, uh, non-auto and stuff like that. Andres Jimenez out of 299. Our other numbered card is Luis Arias out of 150. Now getting into the hits, uh, we got a Nick Prado quad jersey relic there out of 99, which is pretty decent. Here's a nice one here. Speaking of the Mets, my boy, the Polar Bear. There we go. P.D. Alonzo and Anthony Rizzo. Kind of the uh, battle for New York right there out of 50. That was pretty cool. And then the two big hits. Like I said, it's going to be hard to outdo. Uh, what we got in that first box. So you would think this would be the big hit. Believe it or not, this is not the big hit. A lot of Astros fans definitely would kill for this card here. Uh, Jose Altuve, out of five, autograph, uh, game use memorabilia. It's one of those MLB authenticated jerseys. You guys look up that little number right there. And actually, if you want to, go right ahead. It looks like there's a 1-2-2-2-1-0-KV. Uh, if you look that up on MLB's website, Tell you exactly what game Jose wore this in, and you guys can see what he did as far as batting and stuff like that goes when he was wearing that jersey. But again, out of five on there, that was a pretty cool pull, and that wasn't even the hit of the box. The hit of the box was the on card rookie auto, my man Corbin Carroll, the man of the hour, the man of the year, your rookie of the year out of two ninety nine. Corbin Carroll, very nice one right there. Crazy. Archival, crazy card for sure, buddy. Yep, archival autograph, and uh, Connor, I'm sure you remember when we. Pulled that one. We were slow rolling it there a little bit, slowly revealing it. We were both calling for Corbin Carroll, and yep. we got lucky pulling and we were looking on the box. Yeah, we were looking on the box, comparing comparing the face, because we went from the uh, helmet down, and uh, we were kind of comparing there on the box and stuff, and I'm like, that looks like that is Corbin. And lo and behold, we did get lucky enough, and it was Corbin Carroll. So, all right, we're going to get into our box here today. Cut the cell phone out of the way first, and then I'll show you guys what the box looks like here, and we'll talk about this a little bit more. Just gonna pull this back a little bit tighter quarters here than I'm used to, but we'll make it work. All right, pulling all the cellophane off of there, and I cut that tab, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Cut the tab. So here's what the box looks like right here. Every box, as you guys can see right there in the top right, contains one on-card autograph, one autograph relic, one quad relic, and one relic card. So you get four little mini boxes in here. This is what's called a master box. Four mini boxes per master box. Uh, the price point's about $400, so about $100 on the, each of these little mini boxes in here if you bought one. Um, trying to flip this around, see if there's anything crazy to show you guys. Top stop putting, you know, odds and stuff like that, so you're not going to find the odds on here anymore. You can look on the website for the complete checklist, things like that. But, uh, yeah, the man of the hour, Corbin Carroll, is on there. 
let's pop this open, see what we can get in here. And uh, again, the case hit for these uh, boxes, and I can't remember if it's 10 or 12 boxes per case, but uh, the point being, and actually I'm just going to probably pull the Corbin Carroll back out of the way, as well as the Jose Altuve, a little tight quarters here, so I'm going to work with what I have, I want to get this on camera for everybody here, set that back there. So here's our four mini boxes right here, uh, the case hit is a gold framed auto, and to be honest I'll tell you right now if we have the case hit, I'll just lift these up because they're about three times heavier the mini box there and we don't have the case hit I can tell you right now we don't have a gold framed auto here they weigh about three times what a normal box does I guess it's very very obvious uh, as far as if you have the case hit and stuff like that but anyway we're gonna get into this I guess we'll go right to left and hopefully get a little bit of luck here that's what these mini boxes look like right here and uh, we'll see what we can get in here we're gonna get one hit per box plus possibly a numbered card you get one of ones you get all kinds of cool stuff in here and again, each mini box represents about $100 as far as the pricing goes and stuff like that. Let's get something like the Corbin Carroll. Corbin Carroll would be very, very nice. A 101, that would just be insane. Um, I picked two box, these two boxes up, the one that I recapped in this one from my uh, LCS. And he told me that somebody opened one of the boxes that they bought from him in store and pulled a Nolan Ryan autograph. So that was a pretty big hit obviously here's what our design looks like for the base cards this year Paulie Goldschmidt last year's MVP see we got a rod behind there but this is what you're looking like on the back of each card right there very similar to uh, past year's designs of museum collection so we got a rod there there's our first rookie card Masataka Yoshida the thick one's next yep the thick one is next the hit is always the fourth card down this could be a numbered card but it's not it's kind of the I can't remember if they call this just gold border parallel or bronze or copper or whatever the heck, but uh, non-numbered Justin Verlander on the back. And our hit of this box or pack, I don't know if it goes this way or not. I don't think it does. I think it goes this way. Okay, so it does go this way. Let's see what we got here. Astros. Looks like IL, so I'm going to say material. <laughs> uh, is it an autograph there or is it just material? We got numbering out of 35. Looks like 10 of 35. And... Let's pull it down to reveal a Michael Brantley. Michael Brantley, meaningful material. So there you go, nothing crazy there. And that one right there, that's what the back looks like there. Again, nothing crazy. Let's see what we have here in box number two. We've got the relic out of the way, so that is good. Everything else should be kind of up from here, I would hope, because we're going to get a quad relic. We're going to get an on-card auto, and we are going to get a jersey auto. And we will show you what is in Packer box number two right now. And pulling it from here. All right. This one's thick too. We got a thick card here, okay. I think it's the quad. Could be. All right, let's see what we got. Starting with a rookie here right off the bat, Oswald Peraza. And below there we got a Hall of Fame Tom Seaver. Below that we got Clayton Kershaw, perhaps future Hall of Famer there. Pulling from the bottom, another gold border. This time it's numbered, though. Luis Arias, again, out of 299. I think in that first box I had him out of 150. And our hit for this mini box, what is it going to be? Is it going to be the Quad Relic? I think I see some ink at the top. I do. So this is going to be our... This is going to be our Jersey Auto card of the box. Signature swatches. Let's hope for a big player. That looks like a classic Brewers cap there. Tell me Robin Yount. That would be my pick here for who I would love to pull out of this. And it's not going to be Robin Yount. It is going to be instead Corbin Burns. Not too bad, though. Out of 50, dual relic, as well as the sticker auto up there, signature swatches. Kind of like Corbin Carroll, but Corbin Burns. Corbin Burns, yeah. Burns. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Same first name, out of 50. There we go, Corbin Carroll is our signature swatches dual relic autograph all right still guaranteed a on card autograph and autograph and a quad relic we're we'll doing the, the quad relic still yep all right let's see what we get in mini box number three remember last time this was our autograph well maybe it's the autograph again on the left side yeah okay and i think he's right because we got a thick card in here again so it's probably the quad relic Bobby Wood Jr. starting us off here. Behind there, we got a Kyle Tucker. Vaughn Grissom is our rookie. Pull from the bottom here. And we got a Reese Hoskins, that non numbered goal borer. 
I'm thinking this is the quad relic. Let's see. Primary pieces. Hmm. It's look like it. 15 of 75. Jazz Chisholm. Yep. Hey, there we go. Got a little bit of bat mixed in that time. That's nice. Jazz Chisholm out of 75. A couple of pieces of the old bat. A couple of different colors of jersey. So there's our quad relic card right there. Primary pieces quad relic. Jazz Chisholm. That's uh, a little offside. <laughs> yeah. Out of 75. So that leaves last box here. This should be an on card autograph. Let's hope for a big name player. I'm not sure. This box could go either way because the, the cards haven't been terrible as far as the hits go, but they haven't been the best either. So this one could really go any which way. I'm not sure if we're going to get a big auto or just kind of a meh card. We will see. And. I'm let's... wondering if in most boxes they put the autographs on the very left. I couldn't tell you, buddy. Bryce Harper. Harper. Yep, Bryce Harper. You know him. Starting us off. Joey V, Joey Votto. Behind there, we got a Miguel Vargas, another rookie. Pull from the bottom, looks like a blue out of 150. Oscar Colos, out of 150. Second number card. And then our last card of this break, our on-card autograph. Come on, baby. Big name. Is that Casey? Give me... I think that's Casey. I swear it's a Casey on the side of the helmet. If it isn't, it's the Kansas City Royals. Give me a Bobby Witt Jr., please. Could be the Dodgers, though. I think I'm maybe looking at that wrong. And... Kansas City, indeed, it is going to be Salvi Perez. Salvador Perez out of 50. So an on-card auto of Salvi Perez out of 50, 20, 50 on that one right there. So, all right, guys, there you go. That is essentially two boxes of 2023 Topps Museum Collection. The first box was by far the better box, but the second one wasn't too bad. It's a fun rip for sure. Please do me a favor, guys. Like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, a great night wherever you all are at, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Connor says.